Robert Quinn gets dealt today. The trade deadline is rolling November 1st, Monday, starting to heat up. We've seen Christian McCaffrey moved, a few other little odds and ends at this point. But Quinn, obviously the big deal today. Uh, Former, I don't want to say former dominant pass rusher, but uh, obviously his ceiling of 18 and a half sacks is far off it this year. I think he's at one sack this year. Bears have been shopping him for a while. This has a distinct feel of, they're going for it now. I don't know if they I, – my assumption is they feel like they're probably going to lose their defensive coordinator to a head coaching job, so they're they're trying to wrap this championship now while they've got um, the window and the continuity. But the Quinn addition is, at least in that defensive scheme, I think has got a chance to be uh, pretty revelatory for, for what the Eagles can do against some of the passing teams they're going to face. Yeah, I, I think when you look at where Robert Quinn is in, in his career, too, this is probably like a perfect landing spot for him because I, I think with Quinn, uh, it, it helped a lot having someone like Khalil Mack across from him last year uh, and even when he had some high sack holes with the Bears. But uh, I don't know at this point in his career if he's a guy that can just like carry the load for you as, as far as being your dominant number one pass rusher. But with the Eagles, he doesn't have to be. I mean, they have a lot of defensive line talent. Uh, they can get creative with a lot of their pass rushers too. And to me, this is just, it's just another piece on what's probably the best defensive line in the league. It was, it was interesting when I made calls on, on the trade deadline, I did a piece on Monday, just kind of shoring up who are some of the teams that, that are going to be sellers and, and who are the players like uh, Quinn's name came up several times as a, a low, kind of low ceiling, you know, maybe, uh, Von Miller, like a poor man, not even really a poor man's Von Miller. I mean, just he was clearly seen by teams as if you're going to go out and you're going to grab a piece and and you have assets on defense already and you want to plug in a guy and maybe get more juice for the squeeze. Quinn was the guy. Clearly, a, a number of teams pointed at him. Um, and you look at the defensive line for the Eagles. I mean, it's crazy. Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, um, Javon Hargrave. I. If everybody's healthy, you know, that's a hell of a, a lineup to stick him into. And I can understand now why Howie Roseman would probably try to get this done on Wednesday. And he was very active. So, like, on Monday, um, everyone knew that that Howie was was active and searching for a piece or two. The, the Eagles may not even be done. Um, but the fact that he got it done on a Wednesday rather than, you know, pushing it all the way to the deadline, I think speaks to the reality that, People knew Quinn was going to be available because of the contract situation. And he was going to be coveted by probably a handful of teams that, as I said, had the assets up front um, to be able to make those additions and and get everything you could out of them. 